By July 1918, the German army had total control of the Soissons Chateau Thierry Rose. These were vital lifelines for the German soldiers based in the Marne salient. Fearing an offensive in this region, the French planned to force the Germans out of this area. They would make use of one of this war's most brilliant new weapons, tanks. Tandis que nous mangions, nous avons vu des charges Neder, Saint-Chamond et FT gravir la colline. Nous attendons l'ordre d'attaquer en les ardant au soleil. Certains ont pêché des poissons à la grenade dans les étangs voisins. Même à 100 mètres de distance, on peut voir que leurs lignes sont si bien garnies de barbelés qu'un lapin peinerait à les franchir. Les chars franchissent ces obstacles avec une aisance incroyable. On dit que le général Foch a promis la paix pour le mois d'août. Je doute que ce soit le cas, mais j'admire sa détermination. Nous nous attendons à ce que la guerre dure encore deux ans. Commander Foch has given us the go. Our tanks will move swiftly across these fields to secure the German defenses in Chaudin. Then continue up Soissons Road to take the Château du Pernant. Once secured, we will quickly move onto this airfield on the route to the Hameau Depot by Vierzy. The railroad connects to Soissons and will allow us to push the Germans back over the Enne River. Yes, the attack failed. But do not lose heart. It is the last 5% of possible exertion that often wins the battle. At them again! The assault was a failure again. But too much French blood has been spilled to give up now. Let us at them one last time! We lost this fight, men. But we will never stop fighting. Inaction is atrophy, paralysis and death. Victory, man. Your magnificent courage has routed the Germans from the salient. Let us pursue them as they fall back towards the end River. After the Germans lost Soissons, they retreated back to where they had launched the Great Spring Offensive of 1918, at the abandoned battlefields by the Envel Rivers. The French were now in the ascendancy. The summer was coming to an end, and so was the war. La marche vers la rivière a été difficile dans l'obscurité. Et les fortes pluies n'ont rien arrangé. Elles ont transformé les routes en bourbiers. En regagnant ces endroits, nous avons constaté que des villages entiers avaient disparu, que des bois s'étaient volatilisés, et que le paysage était devenu lunaire. Tout semblait en mouvement. Hommes, animaux et machines. C'est comme si tous savaient que la fin de la guerre approchait. En traversant le village, nous avons entendu un gramophone jouant une musique magnifique. La plus belle qui m'ait été donnée d'entendre. Même les boiteux accéléraient le pas, et sur chaque visage, on pouvait lire la détermination et l'attente de la victoire. The Germans have dug into their old defensive positions on the trench line at Hill 16 near Bazoche. We need to secure them before we can cross the Enne River and attack their new trenches on the Notre Dame Ridge Line. After this, we must launch an offensive along the railway track to secure Fim. This will force the Germans to retreat out of this region once and for all. Make no mistake, this is the end for them. Our attack has failed. Too much blood has been lost for no gain. Stand tall, men, for we must fight again, and fight harder. This is a grave loss for our great nation. 
Remember, all of France and allied Europe is depending on us. Let us go at them one last time. This defeat is a sad day for France. Four years of war has taught us little. We must pray we will have another chance to fight. Victory! Soissons once again is blue, white and red. The Germans are in retreat across the river, and my heart knows we will not face them again. All of Europe will rejoice. For the first time in the war, the German army was decisively defeated by a well-planned combined arms surprise attack. Victory in this battle allowed the Allies to enter a new phase of successful and unrelenting offenses on the Western Front that would eventually lead to the November Armistice. Von unserem Fenster im Chateau sehen wir wie sich ihre Panzer sammeln und dem Licht der Dämmerung vorrücken. Mit ihren riesigen Faschinen wirken sie noch mehr wie monströse prähistorische Tiere, die bereit sind, Mensch und Material gleichermaßen zu verschlingen. Was ist nur aus der Menschheit geworden, wenn sie nur noch etwas erschafft, um zu zerstören? Bald ist es vorbei, sagen sie, ja, nach einem Blutbad aus Fleisch und Stahl. Our salient is threatened. We are going to have to fight smart to stop their tanks from running over us. First, defend Chaudin. We will then retreat up the Soissons Road and defend Chateau du Pernon. If we cannot hold this position, we need to fall back to our stations at the airfield and ammo depot by Vierzy. If we lose this, Soissons will fall and we will have to retreat back towards the Aisne River. There we do or die. Good job holding the defenses, men. Their advance has been crippled. Now gird yourselves, for they will come again. Victory is again ours, and though they are weak now, they will come one last time. Hold these defenses, men. For the Kaiser! A glorious victory for the Empire. Your valiant hearts have showed that you are the true defenders of its values. defenses have been lost. Good men, brave men, loyal men have fallen, but not in vain. Let us retreat to the Ain River. There we shall make our stand. Nun, da der Krieg fast vorbei ist, habe ich mehr Angst denn je. Ich kann mir endlich eine Zukunft vorstellen. Keine Zukunft mit einem Sieg Deutschlands, sondern eine Zukunft mit meiner Familie. Umso mehr schreckt mich jetzt der Gedanke an den Tod. Ich bete für eine kleine Wunde am Bein und den Rücktransport nach Berlin. We must not let the French cross the Aisne River. We have only recently built our defenses here. We need to defend these old trenches near Bazoche. If we cannot hold them, we must fall back across the river using the bridge to our new positions on the Notre Dame Ridge Line. If they are lost, God forbid, we will have to fall back to Fiem. That will be our last chance to keep our influence in this region. A well-deserved victory, soldiers. These poilu are no match for our elite forces. Now stand strong, for they will come again.
our defenses are strong. You brave soldiers embody the spirit of our great empire and will not be beaten. And when they come for the last time, we will be ready for them. our defenses. Victory is ours. So rest, men, for I am sure we will soon be marching towards Paris with the great German eagle flying above us. By 1918, the Germans had perfected the art of defending in depth. But at Marne, the French proved that a new type of war could be waged that favored the attacker and not the defender. A war that used mobile and mechanized combined arms. If the Germans had found success and mimicked these Allied tactics, perhaps further assaults on France and the capital would have been possible, changing the course of the war. This is a disaster for us, men. We have lost our salient, our positions on the Aisne River. This is what the French had hoped for. The future of the German Empire feels most uncertain. For centuries, the city of Verdun had been a symbol of French strength. However, in 1916, the defenses around the city were neglected in this quiet sector. But then at dawn, on the 21st of February, a sudden infernal barrage of one million shells hammered Verdun, turning it into the devil's anvil. Wir sind auf eine lange Schlacht vorbereitet. Aus ganz Europa treffen mit Zügen Truppen und Vorräte ein. Wir rücken langsam vor, Schwelle für Schwelle, Schiene um Schiene. Sie sind unsere Skalpelle, die in das Herz Frankreichs stechen. Wir werden dieses Land aufschneiden und ausbluten lassen. Diese Offensive hat einen Decknamen, Operation Gericht. Ich weiß, dass diese Schlacht diesen schrecklichen Krieg beenden wird. Falkenhayn has guaranteed our artillery will continue to fire on the Verdun fortresses as we move through Bois de la Vosche to capture the village of Saint-Menieu. From here, we will attack the French positions by the way. Our attack failed, and we must rest beside our dead. But while we still breathe, we will not give up. We will fight again, men. This time to victory. We lost, men. But in your blood remains the iron that gives strength to your hearts. Use that passion for this, our final assault. eat and drink and sleep with our dead brothers watching over us. That is the price we must pay. A valiant victory, Soldat. The forts which dominate this region, that protect the Allied lines, will soon be ours. Onwards! After an initial breakthrough, the Germans took the massive fort Dumont. This advance would soon come to a halt as the French poured men and resources into the area, determined to defend Verdun at all costs. And as the Germans approached Bordeaux, the outcome was far from certain. Morgen sollen wir Fort Vaux angreifen. Niemand weiß, was sich hinter diesen dicken Mauern verbirgt. Es heißt, die Festung wurde nach Bismarcks schrecklichem Krieg errichtet, um die Region vor zukünftigen Invasoren zu schützen. 
Und hier stehen wir nun, gehen uns gegenseitig an die Kehle und sterben lieber, anstatt auch nur einen Schritt zurückzuweichen. The French garrison have barricaded themselves inside the Fort Vaux. Leutnant Muller has ordered us to breach the fortress moat here. We will then enter the fort and clear the corridors leading up to the central courtyard. From this position, we must clear out any remaining French resistance, pushing them out through the main entrance at the rear end of the fort. Prepare yourselves. Our attack has failed. Our ranks have been brutalized. But our will is one of iron and cannot be broken. At them again, brothers! Yes, our attack failed again. But while our great empire stands, we cannot give up. At them. One last time, men. We have lost this battle, but we are not conquered. When the time is right, we will come again. is ours. The city of Verdun will soon be draped in German flags. The Kaiser praises his brave sons. In late June, literally dying of thirst, the French were forced to surrender Fort Vaux to the Germans. Immediately, the French struck back and took the fortress, but with devastating losses on both sides. While the battlefield was not even a square 10 kilometers, 700,000 were now dead, wounded or missing. This was the longest battle of World War I. Verdun survit dans le hurlement des obus. Un énorme rideau de fumée noire s'étend comme un voile sur l'enfer. Un barrage d'artillerie de cette ampleur ne peut signifier qu'une chose. Il va se dérouler ici une bataille comme le monde n'en a pas souvent vu. Des déserteurs allemands ayant franchi nos lignes nous ont dit que toutes les permissions avaient été annulées et que quelque chose de terrible se préparait. À la fin du tir d'artillerie, deux hommes sur cinq avaient été enterrés vivants dans leur abri. C'est le chaos, la fumée, le bruit, le danger. Nous n'avons plus aucune communication avec le commandement. Nous ne savons plus quoi faire. C'est à croire qu'un million d'obus explose simultanément. Comment ne pas avoir peur Verdun is in grave danger. The Germans are on the move in this sector. We expect them to target the village of Samenieu, so we will defend here. Should we lose it, we will fall back to this line by the ruins of La Fontaine. If our defenses fail here, we must retreat through the ravine and unite with our rear defenses on the slopes of Cots 378. There we will dig in and hold to the last line. Our defense is held. The German advance proved to be all sound and fury. Let them come again. They are no match for us. Again, we save France from a grim death. But these vile Imperial invaders will come one last time, so be ready to fight. A glorious victory for France. Your valiant hearts reflect the values of our great nation. Liberté. 
égalité, fraternité. We lost. We must retreat to Fort Vaumen. Inside those walls, we will fight the Bosch. The Imperial Beast will finally be slain. Le commandant Reynal a veillé à ce qu'on barricade le plus grand nombre d'entrées possible. Les Allemands sont pas prêts de mettre un pied dans le fort. Depuis deux jours, nous sommes bloqués dans un tunnel et pleurons à cause des obus lacrymogènes. Pour essayer de calmer ceux qui m'entourent, je chante la Marseillaise. D'autres racontent comment leurs grands-pères ont défendu Verdun avec succès, il y a bien des années. Reynal nous a dit qu'il en était réduit à employer des pigeons. Un comble dans cette guerre mécanique et technique. On manque d'eau, au point que certains hommes en sont réduits à boire leur propre urine. Ironiquement, il pleut beaucoup dehors. We must defend Fort Vaux at any cost. The Germans have shelled the outer walls and will try to enter through the moat, here. If we fail to stop them, we must hold on to this courtyard, as it provides access to all parts of the fort. Should we lose this arena, prepare to fall back to the main entrance. Here we will fight, not just for Verdun, but for all of France. Yes, men, this is our victory. These barbarians know now that our eternal fighting spirit is what defines us. They will never break us. We are victorious. This fort remains cloaked in the colors of France. But it is not yet time for celebrations. We must defeat the German eagle one last time. City of Verdun is saved and the Republic of France salutes you. Though we have suffered great losses, you have turned the tide of this terrible war. Your courage and strength will never be forgotten. The defense of Fort Vaux was marked by the heroism and endurance of the French soldiers stationed there. This small garrison repulsed constant assaults of gas and fire and bullets before physical conditions forced them to surrender. If the Germans had been able to hold the fort, perhaps their assault on Verdun itself would have been successful and the Western Front permanently breached. However, strategically, there was little justification for the atrocious losses on either side. The fortress is lost. Verdun is lost. Only the spirit of the Republic can save France now. Only hope can save the free world from destruction.